going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. Listen, you do not want to miss this show. This is part two of Charlene Body and all of the wonderful stories and everything that she does. Listen, she does so many things. I mean, she's been, oh gosh, I, I, I could go on and on, but you could tell us a little bit more also. Oh, I'm so glad you joined. You will not be sorry. 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729 always right here behind my head, periodically across mm -hmm. the bottom of the screen. Call, don't, don't go through things alone. I mean, God is doing miraculous things as we go to heaven on your behalf in faith. And he's moving mountains and people are seeing all kinds of stuff happen in their lives from marriages um, that were gonna get divorced, didn't get divorced, uh, mm -hmm. kids, wayward kids, people off of drugs. I mean, one lady healed totally, she had bled for years and called the prayer lines and instantly it stopped oh, after all God. those Hallelujah. years. I mean, we just have one, every, I mean, even this yeah. week I was telling you the testimonies on the prayer lines, major things. And so be one of them, call and get your answer. We will take it with our whole hearts because that's what we're here for. I have never in 16 years solicited anybody I don't know who you are. You are anonymous. That's why most people feel comfortable calling. Mm -hmm. I'll never ask you what you live, what you want to donate, nothing. God takes mm -hmm. care of us. Mm -hmm. And I will never solicit you. I don't need to know who you are, but we want to see you set free. That's what those prayer lines are for. I've had too many call me and say, oh, well, do I need to pay you something now or do I need you to give an address? I said, you don't need to give me anything. I want to pray for you that's because right. that's how it's Hallelujah. always been that's set right. up. They want everything Jesus. right now. Mm -hmm. They can Hallelujah. only pray two minutes and I'll pray. I mean, we've had people pray for an hour with somebody. Uh, I had a lady from Trinidad, Tobago. I answered those prayer lines. She got set free from all these voodoos and demons and, and screaming and throwing up on the phone. And <laughs> she said it was the best hundred dollars she ever spent calling our <laughs> prayer lines. Aww. It cost her a hundred bucks. Thank you, Jesus. All Oh my gosh! Hallelujah. I know. And that's, so I know the power of God and what he does Amen. through this show. Mm -hmm. And we don't take it lightly. Be one that's of them right. today. Be yes. one of them today. Yes. Just just get your answer because God wants to answer. Hallelujah. He really does. Yes. And see Amen. your breakthrough, okay? Hallelujah. I'm Charlene back to Mary and your God's View host. We have Stephanie Besh, Priscilla Pruitt, and Lana Garner. We're so grateful yes. that Lana is back. Yes. Oh, you. We, we, we will be bringing her testimony. She was diagnosed with fourth stage cancer April of this year and um, they said she had 1% to live and now she's healed. Amen. So, yay, 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 <laughs> Jesus. Than ever. Yes. Right. Yeah. 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 Looking good. And I mean 1%, less than 1% was like, I mean, and she couldn't breathe, couldn't even walk a step and it was God is faithful. Yes. And then help us welcome back our very special yes. guest, yes. dear friend, Charlene Body. Woo! Yes. Woo! Come yes. on, somebody. Let's I want to tell you right away, yes. Um, many of uh, the stories that she uh, spoke about and show one, and if you didn't see it, you better go back and watch it. <laughs> you you can watch it all over the world on TV or on uh, YouTube and uh, Roku's and uh, you know all that stuff, Fire Stick and Amazon. And yeah, you know, there's so much stuff out there now. Game Saws are on Game Saws. Anyways. This book has those stories in it, okay? No appointments necessary, okay? You can go to Amazon and get them. Charlene Body, and you'll know that it's no necessary appointments. And then True Grid. This is her coaching book that many people, entrepreneurs, Hollywood movie stars, people have really gotten to their next level and many things happen for them because of the coaching out of this book. And she also personal coaches people. You can get a hold of her at her website, www.charlenbody.com. No, just charlene.com. Yeah, just charlene.com. Just charlene yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He always <laughs> helps you, doesn't he? So, yeah. so, oh my gosh. So we left off with... The, with in Biggest the middle cliffhanger of a, ever. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I tell you, I'm chomping at the bit like that. It was a clip hanger, honey. Like, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We froze. Yeah. Yeah. And two minutes yeah. popped up. And and yeah. Not without Holy Ghost chills from yeah. there. Yeah. 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 There's just so incredible. many stories. Okay, so tell so them what's about stories. to happen. You're about to get beheaded. And yes, yeah, so, okay, yeah. the car breaks down for those that may not have seen show one. You're in Europe. We're in Europe. We're in southern England. 
and I've just finished teaching a Holy Spirit class, teaching people how to hear God's voice mm. as a lifestyle. And our car breaks down, the ministry car breaks down. Mm -hmm. We find out the tow truck can't come for two hours. <coughs> and so my a British assistant, who is white and British, she leans over to me and she says, tow truck's not coming for two hours. And she's talking to me and I respond to her. I said, that's okay, okay. I'll just kind of look through some class notes right. and we'll just we'll have a good chat about class tonight. Didn't think about it. And she's hearing you know, me speak to her, mm -hmm. but someone else is lurking in the dark. And they are also hearing my accent. And it is an angry Syrian Muslim who comes up and he says, uh, basically he's going to take our heads. And he says that he gets extra points with Allah if he takes my head especially because mm. I'm, I'm an American mm. and I'm a stupid an infidel, infidel and he's got a plan. Yeah, he's got <laughs> an infidel. Anybody that's not Muslim is considered mm, an infidel. Yeah. And he says, uh, that's you and I'm going to take your head tonight. He said, I'm going to get both of you, but especially you, Miss America, is what I really want. And uh, mm. he wanted to know what I did yes, and I told him why I taught and what I was teaching. And he asked me if I knew who he was. And I said, uh, what do you mean? He says, do you know where I'm from? And I said, no, sir, I'm assuming you're Arabic but I have no idea what nationality you are. He says, well, I'm a Syrian. And he says, Syrians wow. hate all Americans. I thought, oh wow. boy, here we go, here we go. <laughs> wow. And he says, you know why? I said, I'm sure I know what you're gonna say. He says, you are the big Satan. And he said, mm -hmm. Israel oh. is the little Satan. Mm -hmm. See, that's what they think about us yeah. right now. Yeah. Because, yeah. because yeah. we are the helpers, we're the yes. defenders of Israel. Yes. So uh, for that, America is considered in much of the Arabic world to be the big Satan. Yep. And then yeah. Israel is the little Satan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he says that to me and my assistant's just thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I'm never gonna see my husband and kids again. And she's praying in tongues next to me and he's got the sword and he mm -hmm. said, Miss America, tonight you die. And uh, after he found out what I was teaching, he then was shocked to find out I was a woman because he said, women should not be working for God. You wow. can't work for God, you're a woman. And he kept saying what I was, and I kept saying that I work mm -hmm. for Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, every time you say the name of Jesus, it levels the playing field. Yeah. And then he asked me this crazy question, which made my assistant stop speaking in tongues for a minute. He said, are you teaching in the original Greek and Hebrew? And I thought, well, wait a minute, where did that come from? And she stopped speaking in tongues, and she looked at me, she looked at our, you know, uh, Arab friend here, and um, She's like, what does that have to do with anything? And I said, yes, sir, I do uh, teach in the original Greek and Hebrew were needed. And he said, uh, silence for a moment. And we thought, okay, what's happening now? And then he said, will you teach me? I said, no, wait Ooh. a minute. Wait a minute. You said five minutes ago some... you wanted our heads, yeah. especially mine. It's the spirit of now God. Now you want me to teach you. I said, Holy do you spirit. understand, sir, mm -hmm. that I need my head? in order to teach you. <laughs> and he's sitting yes. there, and I said, and if I'm gonna teach you how to hear the voice of the Most High God, you need to put that sword down. Yes. I said, I need you to put the sword down right now, sir. Yeah. I need you to put it down in the yeah. name of Jesus. Yes. Oh. Love it. He put the sword down, and my sister just kind of went, oh, she was <laughs> up against the car. She just got like, oh my gosh. And um, I said, would you like to meet my boss? Jesus Christ, I said it again, yes. Ah, yes. the name above all yes. names, because the word of God says in Proverbs 18, verse 10, that the righteous run into, into. the tower, which is That's his name. Right. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. Yes. And when they do, they are saved. Yeah. Yes. So I lead this man to the Lord. Yes. And he becomes the most loving ex-Muslim you ever want to know. Praise ah. you, Jesus. He then, every Praise Wednesday, wow. we come to that area, <laughs> wow. to this little gas station <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, at midnight, and we're sharing the at gospel midnight. with him. We're discipling him, and we don't get home till 3 in the morning. Pastor, we do not get home <laughs> till 3 in the morning. Uh. And do you know, a year later, on the anniversary of the night that, of our near beheading, our he says, Shar, I said, yes, bro. What can I do for you? <laughs> he said, I would like to invite you and Leslie for some Holy Spirit hot chocolate. Would you? Because he made the best hot chocolate on the planet. We didn't know. Who knew? And so he called it Holy Spirit hot chocolate. So we go to him and we have Holy Spirit hot chocolate. I said, yes, my brother. What is, what is the deal? What can I do for you? And he says, you know the night we met? I said, I will never forget that yeah. night. Are you kidding me? You're wielding yeah. a sword. You're getting ready to take my head. <laughs> and he goes, yes, I was going to kill you and Leslie. I said, I understand that. Yes, I'll never forget it. He says, but he said, Jesus showed up. Mm. 
That's right. Oh. And I said, yes, he did, my brother. And I'm sipping the Holy Spirit hot chocolate. <laughs> yes. I said, yes, he did, my brother. He goes, and the rest is history. Wow. Oh. Did he ever bring anybody Just, else or did he stay covered? He said covered. He was about to leave yeah. his wife. And you know, in Islam, oh. all you have to say oh. verbally is, I divorce you three times. Are you serious? You don't need to go to court or nothing. Oh, it's so over. Wow. He was about to leave his wife. He had been estranged from his family in Syria for over 15 years. We, ab we were able to counsel him on how to build bridges of reconciliation yeah. with his Arab and Jewish family members. Wow. Yeah. He did yeah. that. He did not leave his wife. Wow. He became the husband of his youth, the w youthful wife. He kept those three children and became the most loving man. Now, in that time, in that area that we were dealing with that, that's what happened to him and his family, and we were coaching him on building bridges with his family because there was so much anger yes. uh, yeah. between him and his family members that he had not imagine. seen in 15 years. So that was a real miracle. But then when we led other people to the Lord, which is also in this book okay. of Hindu and Arabic descent, it meant that a gas station in central London became a hub and became a church. So people could see the Holy Spirit on me from the road and they would come yes. into an Esso station and they would get saved. Like they would get prophesied wow. over and yes. Arabs started coming and yes. Egyptians started coming and Hindus started yes. coming and Buddhists got saved Praise and Praise all God. kinds of stuff happened at the mm -hmm. Esso gas station. Now guess what? Where we were almost beheaded was also an Esso gas station. All the are Esso gas serious? stories are in this book. <laughs> yes, no point is Esso mean? Mean? And Go to Amazon. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's just I'm incredible. Every, and so incredible. every time we pull into an ESO, my assistant would laugh and she'd say, yeah. what's going to happen, God? <laughs> what's going to happen? Because what started <laughs> happening in these places yes. is they would see, they would say they saw my body encased in white light. And that always happens. Either they see white light, but I tell you what happened. A few years ago, I was the in glory. Tel Aviv. Yeah, so right before COVID. Uh, yeah, you're talking glory, Priscilla. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But here's what happened walking through Tel Aviv. I'm walking through Tel Aviv and all these men in long black coats with the curls and the black hats, yes. the Jewish mm -hmm. Orthodox are following me. Yeah. And I see my reflection in a store window in the middle of Tel Aviv. And the Lord goes, you should stop and ask them why they're following yeah. you. Uh, and I stopped and all four Jews bumped into me because <laughs> wow. they weren't expecting me to stop. Yeah. And I go, hello, shalom, <gasps> shalom. Yeah. And they go, they go, shalom, so shalom. And, they're, and their little curls are just bobbing. <laughs> And, and they said, does it hurt? And I said, does what hurt? They said, your body, it's on fire. And I go, Praise my body's God. on fire. What? Oh. And they go, they go you, you, you are like the burning oh. bush. And they wouldn't come close to me because they can see the fire yes. about this time. Glory. Come on, guess what started happening across the way? This Jewish man in the marketplace starts yelling, go on fire, go on fire, go on fire. Ah. Wow. And so all the Jews come out of their shops they and I get to share the, the gospel Ghost. of Yeshua. Yes. Ah. Yes. Because one of the titles mm. that my dear sister Charlene did not say to everybody on this lovely show was that I am one of the first Gentile ambassadors to the nation of Israel, Praise trained by Lord. Israel. Praise mm -hmm. God. Oh. So when so I go much. there, it's kind of like I having can. diplomatic immunity. If anybody tries to give me problems, uh -oh. then I see somebody from Secret Service come out yes. and they usher me to my plane. Right. Yes. Because they're like, no, we know her. She's special mm -hmm. flag. Yep. On my, when I go through Tel Aviv Airport, Oof. they're like, watch her. Nobody's allowed to touch her yeah. because mm -hmm. she is a friend of Israel. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they know that. Yes. But on this day, my body's on fire for an hour sharing the gospel wow. with Orthodox men. Now, Ooh. Orthodox men don't want to hear about you. No, they don't. They will put you in jail oh, for that. They will. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That but is... they sat there for an hour and they were asking me questions. They said, so um, where does it come from? Now, my dear sister Priscilla over here says the glory. Well, yes, that's part of it. You know, that's the Lord, right? Yeah. But um, I said to them, God said, use your Hebrew, use your Hebrew. Yes. I said, Elohim. Oh. They said, oh, they said, you're an Ethiopian Jew. I said, oh. no, I'm a spiritual Jew. I wish I was a Jew. Yes. I said, I'm a spiritual Jew. And I said, yes, I know your language. And they sat there just shaking their heads. They said, this is astounding. I said, am I still on fire? They said, yes. <laughs> and they're sitting away from me. <laughs> they're like, and the man yeah. in the store window is still screaming. You're still on fire. fire. You're still on fire. I said, oh, that's that okay, bro. Hilarious. Thank you. Thank you for that. Shalom. Thank yeah. you. Could you okay. feel it though? I could not feel it. 
And this happens to me it. all the time. So here's what they said. They said, does this happen often? I said, yes. <laughs> they said, where's the last time it happened? I said, England. They said, tell us, tell us. So I'm preaching in a house yes. in England. Do you know the whole house was on fire? <gasps> it was a ring of fire. Remember, Johnny Cash? I turned into a burning <laughs> ring of fire. Wow. Okay, that was me. The ring of fire is wow. where I'm preaching. So much so that an atheist walking his dog, minding his own business in England, yes. walks up to the house, banging on the yes. door so that people can come out. He thought he was saving lives. Oh. He saw all the cars parked around the house where I was preaching. And he goes, get out! Get out! The house is on fire! Get out! Everybody's going to get Because the flames wow. are raging. Do you know the man who hosted me that night opened the door? He opened the door. He said, son, walk this way. He gave the dog's leash to somebody, walked that young man in. Do you know he got sick? By the of time he, he got there, he, he fell <laughs> under the power, Amen. got up, Amen. clients wow. not coming out of his nose. Yes. And he's like, what's happening to me? I said, that would be the power of the living God, my, yes. my friend. And it's he goes, like what's happening? Spirit power came. He the came to the Lord yes. that night. He was on his way to the pub. Yeah. He got saved. He ended up on my prophetic team. That's what happened on Pentagon. Yeah. Come on. The house was on fire, he said. I got to get everybody out, he said. Wow. He got saved, ended up on my prophetic team, Lana. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Mm -hmm. Total atheist, PhD scientist. So go back yes. to the Orthodox Jews. So you tell them this, and what happened? Well, so they, they start um, saying, okay, we <laughs> want to hear more. more. I know, tell us more. And then God, said, God says to me, you can't leave Tel Aviv until you get the pomegranate. And I said, but Lord, I can get a pomegranate in the, in the grocery store in London. I said, I don't need to get a pomegranate here, right, Daddy? He goes, no, mm -hmm. you need to get a pomegranate from Tel Aviv. And I said, well, I went into a, a ceramic store. I said, here's a beautiful ceramic molded Jewish made pomegranate. Is this it, Lord? He goes, no, put it down. It'll break in your suitcase. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. I, I walk out. In the midst of that is a Jewish dealer mm -hmm. who's in my little group, my little Sunday school group, you know, my little Shabbat group. And he says, my name is Shimshon. I said, hi, Shimshon. He says, I have something for you. He said, Elohim is speaking to me the whole time you're talking. I said, okay. He says, come with me this way. Now, you know, to take a Gentile woman alone, yeah. with, uh, that uh, does not uh, happen. Unheard of. No. Mm -hmm. He takes me into the jeweler store that he's got. He takes me in the back room, opens a drawer with velvet. He pulls out a case and he pulls out a red pomegranate lana trimmed yes. in silver. Oh. on a chain, a sterling silver chain. He says, this is for you. And I oh. reach in to give him my, I want to sew into Jews anytime I can. Right. He goes, no, 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 no. Elohim says, it is a gift. Oh. You are to have a pomegranate. Now in Israel, the pomegranate is a symbol of prosperity. Mm. He said, this is for you, my spiritual Jewish sister. And I'm like crying. I'm like, Shimshon, please let me give you somebody. Please, please. No, no. Elohim says no. And I was like, okay. So I take the pomegranate, and then the Holy Spirit says, now you can leave Tel Aviv. Wow. This is the pomegranate. Wow. He told me that that morning. Those men don't know that. No. no. So every time I go to Israel, there are Holy Spirit moments all the time. Holy Spirit things. I almost got kidnapped there too, by the way. Oh, my gosh. Okay? I'm not surprised now. <laughs> so the third kidnapping wow. happened with an Arab in a cab on a Shabbat night because on Shabbat in Israel, there are no Jewish cab drivers. You're not allowed to work on Shabbat. Wow. Yeah, that's right. And so yeah. I'm asked by Orthodox Jews to teach them on the Holy Spirit oh. on Mount Zion. I could wow. get arrested. Of course. Many things oh, could happen. Really? I'm teaching on Shabbat. They're eating out of my hand. And they're saying what they said, the Berean Christians said to Paul in Acts 17, verse 11. They said, um, hey, Checking the scriptures, this guy, Paul, he's onto something. They took the Torah and the Tanakh off the shelf. They double checked every scripture I gave them wow. about the nine ways mm. God speaks to us through scripture. Mm. Ah. And I was teaching on that and nobody shunned me and they're crying and they're begging me not to forget them. I am not able to leave the house till 3 a.m. on Shabbat. Wow. And they don't want me to get in the cab because they know it's Arab driven. Okay. But I have to go back to my guest house. I cannot be found there after Shabbat in a Jewish Orthodox home. Oh, yeah. yeah. It yeah. would be wrong. Right. And I know that. I grew up in a Jewish neighborhood. I know that. So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I got to go back to my guest house, Daddy, and I'm asking for your protection. The Arab picks me up. He is a Bedouin. He decides he's going to rape me and <gasps> take me out to the desert. I <laughs> said, so not no. today. I already been here. <laughs> done that. <laughs> We're no, not doing that. No. Been here, done that. We're, yeah. No, no, no. Yes. We are not having this in the Middle no. East. Wow. 
Aww. Then I start praying in tongues in the back of the cab. I'm like, Lord, I need to get to my guest house. And it's outside of Jerusalem. And this man wants to take me out to the desert so to the Bedouin camp. You. <gasps> yes. He told me everything. He has to. He has to uh -huh. confess. Oh, yeah, he told he me everything. To and I just kept saying the name of Jesus to him. And, you know, and I knew where the turnoff was for my guest house mm -hmm. outside of Jerusalem. And he ended up taking me there. Hallelujah. Praise oh. God. Wow. Talked to him for a good hour and a half about wow. what he was going to do and what he was not going to do. <laughs> right. In Jesus' name. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. You know, why wow. can't Praise people Jesus. believe oh. God? When yes. the Lord says that the name of Jesus is above every name, yeah. on, and, and, and you will be saved and filled and delivered and everything else, why can't we believe That's it? That's right. You know, yeah. I know. And you, I, you can believe. I, I was driving my car last night, and they believe in Sasquatch. That's what the sticker said yeah. on the car. Yeah. I believe in Bigfoot. And I said to myself, but what you said, Lance, but you can't believe in Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe in Bigfoot, yes. but I can't believe in Jesus. Uh, Are yes. you kidding me? I know. know. Come on. How can I, I help you? And, never and they believe. They Bigfoot either. Yes. Yes. So they don't. I mean, exactly. seriously. And no. then they believe in their horoscopes. <laughs> Yo, they, come on. they will be afraid yeah. to go out there. Charlene, door, come on. Yeah. yet. The word of God, yes. they, they question. That's right, or, yeah. or all you need is that reading name. a poem. Yes. And many of them even believe in Satan. It's easier for them yeah. to believe in Satan. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. they believe in ghosts, but yeah. they won't believe in mm -mm. Jesus. And go to football games and yell and scream, but they yeah. can't praise the Lord. Oh, and if you dance in yes. church, they're embarrassed. Yeah. 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 Oh, they're but embarrassed. I have to ask you, you said Jesus, not Yeshua, right? I, I use both when I'm there, depending upon what group okay. I'm with. If I'm with Messianic Jews and I don't feel that they're going to be uh, offended, I will say Jesus, and they're fine with that. Certain places, I'm going to say Yeshua when I'm there okay. yeah. um, in different places because um, it's it's so offensive to Jews right now. I try yeah. to speak their language whenever I can. Good. If I'm in a Jewish neighborhood, I'm going to say Yeshua. I do teach Hebrew roots. It's one of the ten courses I teach. Wow. I do teach Hebrew mm -hmm. roots of Christianity. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a Jewish neighborhood. I also speak Russian and German, which oh. are two <laughs> of the German or the Jewish languages. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah. all, I use all their languages wherever I can mm -hmm. to get uh, some kind of bridge built between yes. us. Good. Because whenever I'm in the Holy Land, and I've been there three times, since my training as ambassador. So in 2010 is when the training was, and that was off the hook phenomenal. It was mm -hmm. absolutely phenomenal. They sat me down with the best friends of Oscar Schindler. Wow. I met Anne Frank's best friend and had tea with her. Oh. Wow. Every day the government put me in front of wow. somebody wow. that may not even be here today because Divine so many of the Holocaust connection. people are gone. It was. Yes. They knew that I had worked at the White House and they said, wait a minute, we have a and White House press for, uh, person. Reagan and Bush? Reagan, uh, Clinton, and Bush. L both Reagan, sides Clinton of the aisle. So wow. at 16, I was with Reagan, was and I was 16. with a live bomb in the room with the president. I'm the only kid in the room with the president. 16. <laughs> 30 dignitaries are with me, and I'll never forget it. Live bomb between me and the president, and it's in a trash can. And I'm sitting there, what a great day, how exciting. Because I wrote something about our Bill of Rights and how the freedom of religion is the number one right in the Bill of Rights. Mm -hmm. I agree. When I wrote that, I agree. the Army War College got a copy of it, mm -hmm. and somebody in the Army War College, all these senators and governors and generals uh, you know, in our military services said, what kid in Denver wrote this? We gotta find her. They call my mother, and they said, we'd like to have your kid. And she goes, okay, but she needs a chaperone. You know, so all these things started <laughs> happening to me, and I got to share the gospel with governors and senators and people at the uh, Pentagon when I was 16, wow. not having a clue that God was going to put me at the Pentagon to teach later. Yeah. But when I did all that, um, here I am with Reagan the first time, and the bomb's about to go off. Secret Service comes in. They grab the president from behind. They bend him over, just like you see in the movies. They run him this way. Wow. The other detachment of Secret Service grabs me and my group. I'm sitting with a Puerto Rican uh, education secretary. She grabs my hand, Charlene, and she says, Mija, Mija, we're going to die. We're going to die, Mija. I <laughs> no. say, Senora, we're going to pray. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're gonna, I'm right. 16. Not I'm telling you, we're going to yeah. pray. Not so die. Secret Service took us. I prayed with all those dignitaries in a circle, I'm leading the prayer. And wow. you see me sitting here, they find the bomb, they detonate it, and I'm still here. Oh, yes. praise yeah. yes. well, wow. Any of the presidents lift up the name of Jesus that you I, saw. I will tell you that uh, uh, we know Reagan uh, yeah. had a, a firm faith. Right. Um, Bill Clinton, I knew his mother was born again, spirit-filled. Mm. She was very strong for the mm. Lord, Mrs. Clinton, that was, because she's now gone to glory. 
but he really had a respect for the Lord. And I said to the Lord, I want to go work for the, the White House. God, that was one of my wishes, which is why God said, live the coaching dream before you start yeah. teaching it. He said, you got to live your extreme dream before you start teaching somebody else. So you go to the White House first, and then I'll talk to you about Hollywood, and yeah. I'll talk to you about prophesying mm -hmm. with Oprah and all the other stuff that this book <laughs> talks about all that, all wow. that, the wow. Oprah stories in here. Um, Clinton but was going to be a, a pastor. I totally believe it because he had a thing about the word. He wasn't afraid that I was a Christian. People in D.C. tried mm -hmm. to get him not mm -hmm. to have me mm -hmm. uh, be at the White House because I was a Christian. And Clinton said, no, we want that girl. I think Good. that's the same girl that worked the Northridge earthquake, and I was. Mm -hmm. He said, I want her. So I did this top secret mission for the president and um, worked for the White House for three years as a lead press officer wow. over disasters and environment. Wow. And in that time, I said, you know what, Lord, this is really nice. I love going to all these fun parties and being excited, invited to the things that Hillary does and the Christmas parties and this and that. It's great. I've been trained for this, and I love all that, okay? But I want to really tell my testimony. Yeah. So one day I got to work, and we were working on this big international environmental thing called the Southern Hemisphere Conference in South America. And the phones are ringing off the hook for all the TV networks calling us. And we had a chase lounge in the middle of the press room at the White House that we could take turns laying down on. Mm -hmm. So I laid down on it, and all of a sudden, um, oh, we gotta go! We gotta <laughs> go! Oh my <laughs> God! All, 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 all of a sudden! Just all of a sudden! Oh man! What? You cannot leave us on cliffhangers like this. <laughs> I'm it's like, not good. holy God. So you not got time? You want to go to a third? And I can do it. I can okay. do it. I can do right. it. Oh, so we're going to come back. This is the worst story. Because this is a clincher. Okay. We got we to go. Okay, because Jesus is important right yes. here. We only have yes. a minute to do so. But I, I got to tell you this really fast that uh, we are going to do a third show. Please don't look at the outfits and say, oh, I watched that show. Nope, it's another show. Please receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. The name yes. of Jesus is so oh, powerful and will yeah. get you out of every situation that you need. And uh, just yes. say, Jesus, come into my life. Forgive yeah. me of my sin. Be the Lord of my life. I need you. I, I, th everything's broken. You know, you yes. can't put it back together, but yeah. he can. Mm -hmm. And then That's ask right. him to baptize Hallelujah. you in the Holy Spirit with fire. I'll tell mm -hmm. you, you'll never be yes. the same yes. in Jesus' name. Right. Ever. He Hallelujah. wants you just the way you are. Mm -hmm. Remember to call those prayer lines. Let us know or somebody. 307-637-PRAY. Mm -hmm. yes. That's 772 Nine. I'll tell you, he's waiting to uh, help your situation and give you breakthrough. We'll go with faith and believe and agree because God set it up on agreement and we will see your breakthrough. You know, don't I, you may have gone through so much stuff and prayed and everything else, but God's still going to do it, okay? It's that song by Karen Wheaton. He'll do it again. Mm -hmm. Please go to our website. Get this powerful God's View anointing oil, Rosa Sharon cap, pearl in there for your precious value smells delicious and we have a new spray one that is yes. phenomenal yeah. you can yes. use it as perfume same yes. stuff but beautiful packaging and it helps us keep coming in your home That's and right. around the world with the gospel of jesus christ Amen. every time you get something at that website it's only goodbye for today remember god does have a view god does have a view personally for you we love you mm -hmm. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ, welcome to God's View.